Uh, we have a question over here, I believe, and there's one down here. And we also have one up there, so we'll get them in. So, uh, I'm sorry, yeah. uh, right behind, through you, uh, did, uh, I'm sorry, in the, in the flowered shirt, your folded arms, did you have a question before? Okay, never mind. Behind you there, yes. And then. Hi, I'm Amy. Um, any chance we could go out of New Orleans sometime? Maybe. Yeah. Um, this is sort of how we decide the itineraries. It's kind of like with the performances, it's this huge calculus. Um, and one of the big things is simply where are, what ships are available, at what ports, at what price point. So uh, it's possible, it's possible. Yeah, but it's, and we're absolutely open to it. As Estorp says, like basically the cruise lines have planned out several years in advance, I think, where and when each cruise ship is sailing, where, where their home port is for a certain period of time, so we have to choose uh, from amongst those options, then uh, of those ships, you know, which ones of the size appropriate for us are available to us, and then we can start making decisions from there, of the, the itineraries we can set. But yes. certainly it's a great way to, to, to make it a little different, a little new. Yeah, we're absolutely open to something like that. Yeah, to bring a ship to, uh, to bring a chartered ship to a port that it's not home at requires extra days of chartering, um, which is not cheap. We basically well, we have to we have to buy the sailing before and the sailing after. Well, they do sail out of New Orleans, but there are far fewer ships that do right. that, so it has to line up with what we need. 